We went to Ghostbusters Frozen Empire Friday night. Mm -hmm. And on the way, we saw this. It's a bus, (laughs) school bus, Mm -hmm. labeled not a thrift store. And I tried to get some decent video. Can you see the line of... I don't know, teenagers. Well, yeah, mostly teens. I thought it up. was some kind of high school field trip or something. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what it was. But like also, I okay, when I found out what it was later, I was like, why is it all teens? So I, I did a little investigative journalism uh-huh. on my own. Come to find out, Not a Thrift Store is a Utah-based enterprise. Mm-hmm. It's basically a thrift store in a bus. Crazy. And it's powered mostly by social media, I think, TikTok and Instagram. Well, and the TikTok thing is what explained the teenagers to me. Yeah. Yeah. But they actually have more followers on Instagram, which is, I think it's, that's the reverse of how it usually is. Right, right. It's usually pretty darn easy to get followers on TikTok Mm -hmm. as opposed to Insta. But, um, okay, so check this out. This is from their Instagram story. And they explain that they're heading to Idaho Falls, Mm -hmm. which is one of a few stops In Idaho, they announce, okay, we're doing an Idaho tour. They give the towns and the dates in their bio. Mm -hmm. And, you know, here's what they share. And then you see the line, too, from their perspective. And you see a guy who got a great deal on Jinko jeans. Which also, my mom, when Jinko jeans were big, had just a ton of them. And she kept them, too. Which would have been, as we've explained before, about 25 years ago. Yeah. Right. And 98 was huge for Jinkos. Dude, she was obsessed. She thought they were, and honestly, she could pull them off. They looked really cool on her. Yeah. But yeah, uh, tons of Jinko jeans. And it's weird to see them coming back. I bought Jinko jeans once, I think, in 99 when they were just huge. And I realized I couldn't. Can you imagine? (laughs) Can you imagine me in those? I can't. It's so bad. I realized that, okay, (laughs) I learned in economics about. uh, complimentary goods, right? For example, and this is this is the exact example my teacher used: uh, beer and pretzels are complimentary uh-huh. goods, right? Right. Meaning, typically you buy you see one the sales sort of with the other. Yeah. 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 Skyrocket yeah, simultaneously. Yeah. And with Jinko jeans, I realized, oh, I have no shoes that I can wear with these jeans unless I want them dragging on the ground. Right. So I had to pair buy a pair of Doc Martin boots. Oh, funny. Two. With a, you know, giant sole. Yeah, yeah, with a nice heel to it. Yeah. I still have those boots by the way. Right, and they actually look really good on you by the way. They're they're my winter boots, thank yeah, you. Yeah, they look really they look good. <laughs> they're I like my snow like, blowing boots. <laughs> I like a good pair of Docs. But uh, anyway, um what an idea. <laughs> Not quite sure what to make of it, but the kids love it. Right, yeah. A yeah, it's roaming funny. thrift shop. You know, I would think another complimentary good to Jinko jeans would be a wallet chain. Yeah. Yeah, those were big. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because, like, you know, you can't feel your wallet in your back pocket anymore because your pocket is now, like, three inches away from your ass and also, like, two inches down, you know, so. I'm trying to think of, like, who was big turn of the century, uh, Smash Mouth. Uh-huh. Um, Sugar Ray in sync was huge in sync for sure. Mm-hmm. What about seashell necklaces? Weren't oh, those yeah, big the in the nineties? Oh yeah. hell yeah, they were. What about a white long sleeve t shirt with a regular shirt over it? Oh yeah, that was a big one. That was yeah. huge. Or maybe like they those, just uh, have lace camis. Yeah, yeah, yep. uh huh. Maybe they just have um, good stuff and yeah. they show it off on Insta or TikTok, and mm-hmm. that's what gets the kids out. Yeah, makes sense. You know, though, I was, so I showed up to the movie like right before it started. Yeah. I think I showed up as it started and I had to try to drive my car through this <laughs> scattering of teenagers. Yeah. And I was so angry about A it. Sea of teenagers. Especially because, okay, most of them saw what was going on and had some awareness of what was going on and moved for my car so I could get through the parking lot that they were standing in. The car area that they were using their human bodies in. I was so mad. (laughs) But there was this one guy who stood there talking to his friend who was just far enough in that I couldn't get past him without freaking him out. Was it being, was he being ignorant? He was being ignorant. Yeah. And I finally went to roll down my window and that's when he finally looked at me and then scooted in a little. And it's like, gee, thanks, dude. Yeah. Couldn't have done that sooner. But I was just emotionally drained and angry before I got there. So I was just, I had no sympathy or patience for anyone. And I feel a little bad about about it, but also pay attention. I think, yeah. (laughs) I'm just having a bad week. And I'm sorry about that. 
Mm. I think the the lesson is, you know, be kind to everyone. You have no idea what kind of fight they're fighting. Right. Yeah. Right. But also, if he had time to stand in a thrift store line, then his fight couldn't have been too bad that day. <laughs> right. No, I mean him to you. Yeah, right. <laughs> <what I> was- <laughs> 